Hello everyone, I am Abhishek. In this video, I am going to show you how we can create a file with custom functions and then import those functions in DataWeb in the same way how we import the predefined functions which we are getting from MuleServe. So let us first create a project and I will name the project as custom functions. Now in my main resources, I'll first create a folder where I can keep my custom function file and I will name it as module. You can give any other suitable name. You can also directly create the file in main resources, but it's a best practice to create a folder and then creating the file inside that. So now I'll create my file and I will name it as custom function. One more thing. Be very sure with your naming conventions because those are very important. So like the advised naming conventions are camel case, snake case or pascal and which is not advised is kebab case. And I will show you why it is not advised. So let us first create this and now I will create my first function. I will create a user data function with one parameter which is name. I'll create one more function as I've already created that. So I will just paste it, which is for country, which have a parameter called code. So whatever code I'm passing in my data web, if that matches with this, it is going to provide the actual country name. So I'll just save it. And now we'll move toward our XML and we'll drag a data web and we'll import the function in our data web. I will make it a JSON. Now to import, it's very simple. We are going to use our import keyword. And then my file is in the, uh, inside my module folder. So I will call module. And then my file name, which is custom functions. I will save it. Now, you can see it is taking that file name. So now I'll call my first function. So for that, first of all, I need to give my file name and then I need to give my function, which is user data. And I will give the name, which is the parameter for this. Now you can see as I'm typing, it's also coming over here. So my file is imported, my function is imported, and also I can see a result. So I also have one more function, which is country. I will also import that. So I will try to concatenate with my earlier function, which is an object. So I will make it as an object. For that, again, I need to choose the file name. So I'll do that country and I will give the code as I am. So you can see now both my functions can be used in my data wave which are there in the file and you can see the output. I will save this. Now there is one more way to do it is using the star from. So if I use star from then I don't need to specify this file name again and again. It's automatically take everything. It's import all the functions what are there in my file and it works in the same way. So you can see I will save it and you can see the result. It's, it's taking it the same way. Now what if I don't create a folder and I directly create a file then how should I import that? So for that again it's very simple. I'm just putting it inside the main resources. It's not there in my module folder. Now, if I'll see, it might give me error. It's not giving me any output. So I just need to remove this module name. And now it can be seen over here. Now, if I remove this star from, then again, I need to give my file name over here like this. Now, 
another thing is like I told you about the naming conventions which are very important like you need to be very sure when you are giving any name to your file and uh, the preferred name were like camel case snake case pascal case but not preferred was kebab case and why I will show you like now suppose I rename it and I put a dash in this now if I try to import it it's giving me issue it's not reading that file name you can say it's it's giving me error what's the error invalid input hyphen f expected alphanumeric character or something even though if I put this way it's not taking that So naming conventions are very important. So it's better to have in the advisable naming convention, which I see it. Now, suppose if I do it like this, surely it's going to take that. save it so yeah, again it's taking so that's all how you create a file for custom function and then you import those in your database thank you have a nice day